And we finally have a big voice coming out in support of proof of work with Jack Dorsey here on Twitter just a little bit ago saying failing is, well, this, this is, it continues. Um, and he said, he's basically talking about lightning network. Someone saying it's failing. He says, failing isn't accurate. It's early and will take time. I think I, I think I agree with that as well. We talk about, we've talked about the difference between, uh, essentially lightning network layer using layer two, but keeping layer one kind of separate and by itself to make sure that it lasts a long time. This uh, has been discussed by Michael Saylor, for example, to great extent. Uh, you may want to check out, I think his latest podcast with Lex Friedman to get a full perspective on layer, layer one, layer two, layer three, and even further on down the line as we start kind of moving into other thing, other realms as well. But he says here that someone has to start and learn what it's going to take for more adoption. Proof of work is necessary for Bitcoin. For security, reliability, and removing single points of failure, proof of stake is a single point of failure and won't scale. This is very important to acknowledge, especially as we get closer to the merge for Ethereum. Because the entire point of Ethereum 2.0, which has now obviously been rebranded because they weren't able to deliver all of that, was going to be offering scalability. As opposed to offering that scalability with sharding, they have now gone ahead and moved away from that and they will be doing rollups, etc. That being said, right, uh, what, we, what we see is basically the removable, removal of scalability for Ethereum as it moves into the merge and a pure focus on proof of stake. And if we see people that start to understand or that understand the technology, cryptocurrency in general, blockchain and the necessity of proof of work start to basically point out that proof of stake has these issues, it, it gets a little worrisome, not only from the perspective of a miner, where obviously we we have an economic incentive for Ethereum, for example, to stay proof of work. But this goes further. This goes into the realm of basically proof of stake affecting everybody on the network. We harp on it a lot. Check out my video on, of course, the problem with Ethereum. There is a part two as well. Those articles on Medium are very good. Basically, how that how their manipulation of the monetary system has really screwed Ethereum over. I think that once it moves to proof of stake, I think it gets a lot worse. It's nice to see um, individuals such as Jack Dorsey acknowledge this, especially with his influence over people like, of course, Elon Musk, where there were discussions of moving like Dogecoin, for example, to proof of stake. And uh, it's funny because Dogecoin being a meme coin, it is the only meme coin that is, you know, kind of proof of work at this time. So Dogecoin is my meme coin because it's, it's the proof of work meme coin. I do wish it was a different algorithm and not ASICs, but it is, uh, it is what it is. So there you go. I thought it was really cool to see that coming from Jack. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.